Hi everyone, so it's Friday, so it means another dev update for Tap Titans 2. A welcome, happy Friday, hope you're well. So this is to do version 5.9 patch note. So 5.9 will be released this Tuesday. So Tuesday the 14th of September, that's when it should be released. There will be some downtime. So this is to do rework with skill trees, add a new skill uh, and the new gold gun damage source we mentioned before. So new jackpot, gold bonus and other changes. So it has to say all skill trees will be reset for free during the 5.9 maintenance. Uh, so basically make sure if you want to keep your build, take a screenshot or remember it or note it down. And you'll have free skill tree resets for two weeks. So after the update, you've got two weeks to try out the Alchemist build if you can or try out all the other builds. So the big content is the new Alchemist skill tree. They changed quite a lot of things, but it's the Alchemist skill tree that um, basically is the biggest update. So this is the transmutation, which is all gold, jack ball gold source, gold gun damage. This is a new damage source. Uh, Magnum, the Auric Shot, Chesterson, Incense, the Love Potion, uh, Midas Ultimate, Midas Overflow and Raw Contract. Now you can watch my previous dev update videos to basically see it. Plus I've done a separate video for um, the Alchemist, first look at the Alchemist build. I'm on the testing server, which is like a private ser server for beta testers. So I'm pretty much get access to it a couple of weeks earlier before release. So if you want to see it, make sure uh, you watch that video. So new gold gun damage source, scales off all hero damage, critical damage, deadly strike damage, gun blade damage, tap damage, and gold gun damage. So uh, that's a lot of scales off. Hmm. I'm going to give it a go, um, the new build, in my next video. I have done it separately, but it wasn't scaled on my um, main account. It was just scaled on my testing account, which doesn't have all the equipment and on the test account, it doesn't have your passives and equipment, so it's a bit unfair. It's not proper balanced. Uh, golden Force Talent, so it's Magnum Splash Skip, Golden Scope Artifact, which is the Golden Gun Damage. And you also get new Jackpot Gold and Jackpot Gold Chance Bonuses. in to Gold Bonuses change to Jackpot Jackpot Gold Bonuses. Stealth Gold Bonuses change to Prize Gold and Prize Gold or Gold Plus... Um, sorry, Prize Gold is all Gold Plus Jackpot. So Inactive Gold... It's changed to jackpot gold. Okay. Inactive gold removed from trickster boost. New jackpot gold on armor bonus replace old stealth gold armor bonus. Um, okay. Stealth gold. Okay. So if there was stealth gold armor, basically when you log in, if if I believe there was um, stealth on there before, it would automatically change to that new source. I noticed it when I did the dev build. I can't remember what source. I think it was using the Shadow Clone build. So my Shadow Clone build, and then all of a sudden my um, Shadow Clone like uh, stealth got changed. So make sure that when you update, if something changes, it's meant to happen. It's meant to do that. Uh, Shay, the Radiant be uh, Beacon Mythic Equipment Set. So we've got a new Mythic Equipment Set and a Legendary and a Rare. So that's a plus level to Tier 4 Night Skill Tree, Paladin Boost, Prestige, Relic Bonus. And then the event to Legendary Equipment Set, which is the Gold Gun Damage Magnum uh, um, duration increase and chaotic alchemist rare set which is the gold gun damage is the gold gun booster sets which makes sense milestones on main screen hub um and samoski sword artifact enchantment prestige event which is starts on september 15th 99 daily prestige limit currency and new player perk bonus and you mentioned the school tree oh dust promo i've been saving a lot of uh, diamonds for dust. I'm going to get a lot of dust. So dust promo, double times dust promo on the Titan chest. So general changes. Moved World of Madas to tier 2. Night Tree moved Fairy Charm to tier 3. Night Tree increased dual burst splash count of companion warfare skill. Increased pet splash count of lightning burst skill. Moved tactical insight to tier 2 of Warlord Tree. Moved coordinated defense to tier 3 of Warlord Tree. And it says, with the feedback provided by the community, we're moving coordinated defense to tier three on the left branch in the wall or tree rather than tier two. We're moving up tactical insight. This will mean that players who don't want to opt into additional quick time events have the option not to level up coordinated defense. Hmm. Moved anchoring shot to tier three. Warlord move uh, volcanic cells to tier four. Wall tree lowered forbidden contract mana per second. This should reduce the amount of mana required for forbidden contract. And overall combined mana cost of forbidden contract or contract will be lower. 
than the old mana cost of fulfilling contracts. Oh, okay. That was one of my concerns. If you notice this when I did Alchemist video, um, that with the raw contract, it wipes, literally wipes all your mana. Plus, if you had forbidden contract and other mana drains, if you haven't got good mana regen, you I suffered. I basically suffered when I tried it out. Change Master Thief or go bonus to prize gold bonus. Increase player raid level limit to 500. Change secondary pet from dual summon to benefit the companion attack rate bonuses. This change will increase the priority to Ancient Warrior Equipment Set and Warcry Multi-Casting for pet players as it will speed up your dual burst attack rate. Additionally, the Companion Frenzy Abyssal Taunt Tournament will be wild for players who want to play pet builds. Hmm. And add a support for Android back button. Um, nothing, that didn't affect me. I don't know if it affects any of you guys. Improved new user tutorials. Increased visual contrast to Cursed Armor. Uh, default artifacts sort in automatic equipment start inventory in AT sword attack damage renamed to gun blade damage. So instead of sword attack damage, is name is renamed gun blade damage. I think that's what I was looking at on the shadow clone build. So yeah, I was using the beta, and then my shadow clone build had uh, gun blade damage, and I was like, what? Why did I rename it? All gold as gold gun damage with skill with gun blade damage is no longer made sense for this bonus to be called sword attack damage. As the sword master's wooden swords and guns that benefit from this bonus, we opted to gun blade damage name. Okay. Uh, conf uh, confirmation of perk refresh. Forbidden contract recolored. Tweaked heavenly spike splash values for early spell levels. Increase power of fruit of Eden, Shimmer and all, Titan Mask, Alexa of Eden artifact enchantments. So it increased it. Reduced power of crown of constellation. Tweaked balance of various heroes. Uh, so, uh, these changes to artifact in, in enchantments and hero powers are largely meant to help balance out various damage source power with the introduction of the new jackpot gold bonus um, the Zach uh, coin crisis bowl changes as well as the new alchemist school tree players will be receiving a large amount of power increase even uh, even with any lower bonuses for enchantments or hero powers overall this will lead to more stable and balanced meta for, meta for all various damage sources I hope so Load. Um, requirements to level cloak and dagger talent it should be easier to do so uh okay and lo lowered cooldown randomness of forbidden contract and there's a lot of bug fixes i'm not gonna go through the bug fi fixes um well you can read them if you want to pause and go through there so thank you for reading 5.9 is the third of a skill tree reworks this update will have um, a goal of having six skill trees and five tiers of skills while the skill tree reworks are not completed yet, the skill tree is shaven up to where we want it to be at the end of these reworks, and you should expect less large scale changes in the existing skills for our next update, which should make any build created with the update to be more stable overall. Please let us know what you think of the skill tree, especially the new alchemist tree and your new gold gun builds. And enjoy your free skill tree experiment, and, and they will be doing a Twitch stream when the maintenance goes down on tuesday uh it was a bit of a quick one um because we've gone through this before in the previous dev update videos and i've also done the alchemist uh video so if you want to see what the alchemist build looks like then watch this video right there that video so that is the video for the alchemist build apart from that i hope you enjoyed this video if you have make sure you subscribe it helps out loads and i love you for it apart from that have a lovely weekend and i'll see you tuesday when i'll do the next video of it live on my main account so i'll see you all then take care bye